All right, friends, I bought this beautiful historical corset from Corset Story, and they told me it was not going to fit. And guess what? It does not fit. <laughs> it does not fit. But we're going to fix it. I'm doing a Victorian a Dickens party, and my old corset is seen better days. So I decided to try for a new one from Corset Story, and I love it. It's beautiful. It's historically inspired. It's perfect in the waist and the hips, but... I'm a pear-shaped girly, and they recommended I get an underbust corset to fill it out. And sure enough, I ignored them, and I cannot fill it out, you guys. I even tried with some bra padding underneath. No go. We're going to have to take it in. So as you can see, quite a bit. Let me get this off, get some real clothes on, and let's fix a corset. Hold on, because we're working in chaos today. For this corset, I have already tried push-up pads, and they just do not add enough. I will be adding those back in, I feel like, at the end of my corset journey. But first, I gotta, I gotta take some of this bulk out. Now, if I was taking time and not, I don't know, planning a 12-course dinner Victorian-themed party, I would take this lace off so that when I reattached it, it flowed in a nice smooth line, but as we're doing this today, it's just going to get caught up in the dirt, and I'm going to have to be okay with that. In marking today, I really wanted a friction pen, but we don't always get what we want, and today is no exception. Instead, I'm going to use my Taylor's Chalk Pencil and just draw some darts in near the boob area in which I am lacking. So I think I'm going to go for this side bust and bust right here. Now, why don't I just lace it up more in the back? I'm sure some of you are screaming at your computer right now, and that is because as then all these beautiful darts would no longer be going up and down my body. They would be going diagonally towards my back. We don't want to do that. Instead, I'm going to take darts up. I tried it on earlier. I really do kind of come down to this lace mark in, in room that I need to take up. So I need my bigger ruler. I'm just going to kind of find the center point right here and go from the inside of the boning to the center point, inside of the boning to the center point on these two side dart seams. As I do my ladder dart, my ladder stitch, I'm going to go right up the sides to pull together. And yes, it's going to bunch all this into, but we're going for quick and easy right now. Party Saturday. 12 courses, people. All right. Meet me back. Did I mention that we won't be talking about the mess in my sewing room today? Anyhow, what I'm going to sew these darts up with, I'm going to hand sew them with embroidery floss simply because I don't have a buttonhole twist in this color and I want it to be really strong. I'm wondering if three strands will do it. I think that'll be fine. I'm going to cut thread and we'll do a ladder stitch right up the sides of each dart. All right, the material was actually a lot easier to work with than I thought it would be. Didn't even need my grip. You can see ladder stitch all the way up over the lace because it's magic. Look at that. I'm going to pull it together and that thread's going to work its way all the way up to the top. <laughs> or break off in my hand. That would be the, the other thing that I could do. So round two. See you in a get. Okay, all right, me versus embroidery floss, round two. Uh, this time, I think I'm going to try to to tighten from the bottom first. I didn't, I didn't pick bottom enough. That was, that clearly wasn't enough. You can see that I am not the biggest hand sewer. <laughs> surprise, surprise. All right, ladder stitch, you have defied me for the last time. The tweezers are out. All right, looking better. I'm gonna take this one up too, and we'll try it on again. All right, friends, I have taken about four inches out of this corset on the top, and now my, my uh, it feels more secure. 
for the ladies. You know what I mean? I am going to add the padding underneath and I think that is going to be a perfect fit. Stay, stay tuned. I'm going to have the full fit that I just want to let you know. The fit finder on Corset Story is amazing and tragically accurate. But if you're like me, you're pear shape, but you still want to do kind of an over bust corset, it's, it's really easy to fix. You just ladder stitch up the side, add some cups, and it's going to look fantastic. Email them if you have any questions. They were really excellent with me. I made my own informed that decision, but it's going to be great. These materials are fantastic. It was easy to fix, and it's going to be perfect for my party. See you after I get the uh, cups added in to give a little more boost. This should be the easy part, but I am really good at making things more difficult than they need to be. We'll see. All you have to do is find the full part of the bust and position your scoop, if you will. So we want to fill this area up with the padded part, of course, facing down. And I'm just going to whip stitch it in. It doesn't need to be super secure because, of course, my body will be holding most of it in place, obviously. All right, this is it. This is the final. You can see it fits so much better. Everything is more securely in place. And I just wanted to say, this is such a comfortable corset, you guys. They really did a wonderful job on the materials. They're so soft. I hope that if you are like me and just a little off the standard, this tutorial helps you get the perfect fit. Because when a corset fits right, it's actually very comfortable to wear. That is one thing off my to-do list for the 12 course Victorian dinner party. Yikes. You might see some posts about it, but I'll see you out there soon. Like and subscribe. Add a comment. Tell me who your favorite Dickens character is. We'll see you on the other side.